You know what I think? I think that you are dope. Like really dope. Yeah. They made Hola, come on, stars. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Re and I create conscious lifestyle content. I feel like I need something to sit on. Like this is Okay. Today's video is gonna be some things that have really improved my gut health. If you guys don't know, I do have IBS and I put like a description on the screen of what IBS is, like the medical term for it. But basically I have a really hard time of processing certain foods. Um, I even have trouble like with food combinations sometimes. And yeah, I just got a really sensitive stomach. Two things I wanna get out the way before we get into this video. One, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian or a medical professional. I'm just simply talking about my experience and what has worked for me. And also I want you guys to know what works for me may or may not work for you. A lot of times you guys leave suggestions or tell me what I shouldn't be eating or what I should be eating in the comment section. And like, it's the same thing. What works for you may not work for me. So just always keep that in mind when I'm just sharing my life and my experiences and things that have worked for me. Number two. I haven't eaten lunch yet and I always do this to myself like I want to get this video recorded it should be sweet and short but I'm hungry and sometimes my brain doesn't work well when I'm hungry so just bear with bear with me okay okay jumping in hot one of the main things that has really helped my gut health is simply drinking more water drinking water I think I know as like the human race, we just don't consume enough water, like period. That's just what it is. Um, I drink at least a gallon of water. I try to, and when I don't, I definitely notice the difference within my gut health. Even if, for example, I eat something that I know I don't need to be eating. If I just like drink water, keep drinking water, it actually like alleviates bloat or any kind of pain that I may be having within my gut. So yeah, I would definitely say drink more water. For me, um, I like to have a water bottle. I used to have like a mason jar. Sometimes I still use those. I just go back and forth. But I like to use a 32 ounce either mason jar or water bottle. And I drink four of these a day. Now, I will say in the beginning, it is a little difficult, especially if you aren't used to drinking a lot of water. It's going to be difficult to get the amount of water in that you need um i mean y'all already know it like you gotta go easy with it so you may if you if you don't even drink no water at all right now like and i mean like barely anything i would of course like not even aim for a gallon just yet you want to start off small but because even for me like when i fall off and trust me i do fall off there are times where i fall off from drinking an adequate amount of water and when I tell you it is so hard to get that water in when you haven't been when you have when you've gotten out of the habit of doing it it's really difficult so I completely understand just take your time be gentle with yourself um but then on a more positive note I'm sorry I'm out of breath y'all I don't know why I'm out of breath but on a more positive note when you start to get that gallon in or not even a gallon but you start to frequently drink water um, you make a habit out of it, it's easy. It's really easy, like, this is my third one. It's 11.56, and this is my third bottle, and I probably got a quarter of it left. So, it gets easy when you have made a habit or made it a priority to hydrate. Number two is probiotics probiotics and this video is not sponsored and I wanted to make sure when I did do this video that it wasn't sponsored. I have been taking probiotics since for years and I've tried a lot of different brands of probiotics. The probiotic that I felt like really changed the game for my gut health and because I there was a probiotic that I was taking a while ago and I took it for maybe four six months straight and I noticed it stopped working. I feel like it started actually making my stomach hurt. Um, the probiotic that I've been taking for a year now and has been working really, really well for me is Seed. I rave about this probiotic all the time. It is quite expensive, especially compared to some of the other brands, but it works. When I tell y'all I got Travis taking it, I got my mama taking it, my mother pays for 
um, the probiotic as well because she has good issues too. My grandma had good issues, so it's like it's like a hereditary thing. Or I feel like maybe we're consuming things. We were well, they she still does, but not me. Um, <clears throat> but I was consuming things that that didn't really serve my like DNA makeup or like you know that didn't really serve my body. And same for them. Like it just doesn't serve our, I'm trying to figure out the right word, like our DNA makeup, our, yeah, it didn't serve us, period. But yes, the seed probiotic has really been a game changer for moi. The next thing is aloe vera juice. And I have been taking aloe vera juice about, probably about two months now. And y'all, I got Travis taking it too. My mama was just down here um, and I, she started taking it and like she said she couldn't like use the bathroom she couldn't have a bowel movement but she took the aloe vera juice and she was in the bathroom so we had this natural groceries and she bought her two containers or bottles to take back with her and like I'm telling y'all that's how good the al aloe vera juice is it's the one I use I'll put an overlay on the screen but the one I use is 99% aloe vera juice and the other ingredient is lemon juice I take two ounces every morning before when I take, oh my God, my brain is doing that thing again where I'm, where it's lacking because I'm hungry. But I take two ounces every morning along with my probiotic, along with my water. Now the taste is not great. And I've seen somebody say, one of you guys actually said that you mix a little bit of lemon juice and agave with it as well. I drink it straight up and it was really tough at first, but now that I've gotten into the habit of it and I've gotten used to the taste, of course it's still not good, but like I can manage it, it's just two ounces. But yes, aloe vera juice, like I said, I've only been taking it for a couple of months now and it, it, it's a complete game changer. Not only is it helping my gut, but I genuinely feel like it's helping my skin. So, get you some aloe vera juice. The next thing would be, if you guys, you guys shouldn't already know what I'm about to say. Y'all should have seen this coming a mile away. But eating a whole foods, why? Eating a whole foods plant-based diet. And for those of you who don't know, like when I say whole foods, I mean foods with one ingredient, like a banana, an onion, or you know what I mean? Like produce of fruits, vegetables, grains, beans, foods that are not processed. What I mean when I say whole foods. And I try to eat this way 90% of the time because I know it serves me but also like I love food so I dabble you know in foods that are processed sometimes um of course I try to stay away from foods that are highly highly processed and I will say I noticed that when I indulge in processed foods is when I start to have like you know some abdominal pain or like some gut issues which is expected especially for someone with a sensitive stomach but this actually I, I mean this is one of the main things that has really helped my gut health I've been playing bass for over five years now and it has worked so well for me I'm not gonna get too deep into like my um, IBS but it used to be really bad y'all used to have to be hospitalized for um, like my IBS like used to keep me up at night. I used to vomit and dry, is it dry heave? I think it's dry heave. Dry heave and constipation. And I would just feel so bad, so sick all of the time. And yeah, eating whole foods, plant-based has been a game changer for me. Um, I know a lot of you guys often comment, not even often, I've seen a few of you, Cause if you know, you know. But some people will be like, you're not, you shouldn't eat onion, and you shouldn't eat garlic, or you shouldn't eat this, 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 that. Like, you know what I mean? And I will say, before I was plant based, I couldn't eat things like onions and garlic and broccoli and tomatoes. I couldn't even eat pasta, pizza, like all anything that was tomato based. I had to stay away from. But after I would say a year or two of being plant based, I worked up the courage to try and start implementing those foods into my diets like pasta, pizza, you know, broccoli, onion, garlic, and I love me some um and I love me some onion and garlic. So I was very happy when I was able to start eating those foods and consuming those foods again. So yeah, like being plant based has completely changed my life. It has been a game changer for me. And while we're on the topic of 
food also mindfully eating mindfully eating you know a lot of times growing up in my household i used to even as like into my adulthood whenever i eat food i like to watch things it's just like it's just two things that go together like i eat and my family and i or my mom and i we sat down and watched tv um and now i see myself doing those things still as an adult and i'm not saying it's bad but i have made it a priority priority i have made it a priority to mindfully eat and another thing is like growing up i was often forced isn't the right word but like if you know you know like you had food on your plate you have to eat it all even if that meant overeating because it was wasteful you know, especially coming up how I came up, you know, I didn't want to waste any food. Wasting food was the worst thing you could possibly do um, in my household. Yeah, where's my point? So I was forced to like overeat oftentimes. Like I was like, not forced, but I I overate. Which when you have gut issues or IBS, overeating is one of the worst things that you can do. It causes so much bloat. Um, I think that when you have gut issues and you overeat, the pain is far worse than someone who doesn't have any good issues or anything like that. But yeah, just mindfully eating, um, asking myself, am I full? Am I still hungry? And just taking my time while I'm eating. Because a lot of times when you are super hungry, like I am right now, you scarf all that food down mindlessly. You don't even think about it. You just eat it because you're so hungry. But I've been working on it. Today, right now, is my best example of that because your girl stomach is touching her back but eat mindfully take your time ask yourself am i hungry still do i really want these last few bites you also have to put your mindset in an abundant mindset because being wasteful or because sometimes we eat a whole bunch of food because we think that there's no more where this came from. You know, like we don't we don't really think about it, but if you think about it, that's a lack mindset. But yes, you have to eat abundantly, graciously, and just remain in a abundant mindset and eat mindfully. So the next thing would be movement, y'all. Movement. And when I say movement, I mean it could be anything, it could be dancing, yoga, going for a walk, running weightlifting, Pilates, any kind of move, stretching, anything. It has really been a game changer for my good health. It has been a game changer, period, period. I noticed that my good health tends to decline when I'm not consistently moving my body. Even like, of course y'all know I like to go to the gym and lift my waist, but even when I don't do that, I stretch on those days. Like do some um, child pose um, or just any kind of like, I really love yoga on days that I don't go to the gym and like go hard. Yoga is my girl. She that girl. Fight me if you disagree. We can scrub. But yeah, just I noticed that downfall or decline in my gut health when I'm not consistently moving my body in some type of way. Even days where I may have some kind of bloat or like you know if i didn't eat that well let me check on my soup i'll be right back okay i'm heating up i'm rewarming my leftover lentil potato soup on the stove top I had to make sure she was okay and she is smelling banging i i love food i love food oh okay where was i what was i saying i noticed on days where if i do have some kind of bloat from you know not following my mindfulness or my mindful practices that I know is going to set me up for success when it comes to good health. If I go to the gym or if I'm like do yoga or any kind of like if I dance or anything like it relieves my blow and it optimizes my gut. I'm telling y'all and of course your mood like let, that's a whole nother story a whole nother video for, the whole nother, for a whole nother day but move your body. Creating a stress-free environment. I am an empath. For those who don't know what that means, that really just means like I feel everything. I feel other people's pain, other people's energy, other people's joy. Like, you know what I mean? I feel everything and 
it can be a blessing and a curse but if you learn how to move in the world as an empath it can definitely be a, an amazing thing um which i'm learning to do you know your girl is learning i'm learning but that said I have a very sensitive or nervous stomach and it's important for me to make sure my environment is stress free and that could look like so many different things like like my whole life like I don't watch the news growing up my mama watched the news all the time and I just used to like couldn't figure it out like why this shit is depressing it's nothing but bad stuff on there and it's not like I'm closing myself out from the world, like I don't wanna hear what's going on because like, you're gonna hear it, but it's one thing to just sit there watching it. So I don't watch the news, bad thing after bad thing. Like damn, y'all ain't got nothing good to tell us, but bad thing after bad thing. Um, and I feel those things so deeply. I limit my screen time. I'm not on my phone a lot. Being a creator, it's a thin line between being a creator and a consumer on these social media apps and I'm still learning that and navigating that part of my journey but I try not to be on my phone a lot typically I'm not like I just don't be on my phone um I like to read instead or listen to podcasts instead I journal workout as I said before like yes that helps my good it's just so crazy how all these how all of these things are interconnected like working out of course we know it helps our mental health which in terms helps my good but like doing yoga, meditation, like don't get it twisted, meditation doesn't equal stress free because things are still gonna happen. Like this is life, like things happen, but meditation, all these practices that I'm talking about, it helps me be more equipped for life. It helps me respond and not react to these certain situations that may occur in my life. It could also look like limiting conversations and time with certain people, certain people that don't serve you. Like, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me talking. Um, it could look like walks, spending time in the sun, just doing more of what you love. Creating a stress-free environment, it allows you to be more present because we're eliminating everything that is going to mindlessly take our attention. And yeah, this has really not only transformed my good health, but really transformed my life. So, okay, so one of the last things that I have for you is, not even one of the last, the last thing. I didn't realize like, oh, that was the last thing. But the last thing is to just be patient with yourself. Like this will not happen overnight. All of the behaviors that we learned and that we were conditioned to, that didn't happen overnight. That happened gradually, slowly, and it's going to take time to unlearn those behaviors and create new ones that are going to positively impact your being. So just be patient with yourself. This journey, it's a journey. It's a process. And you have to understand that. And something that has really helped me, um, I'm going to just say this and I'm going to go because I don't want to talk your head off. And I'm hungry. But I read Atomic Habits at the beginning, I guess, yeah, at the beginning of this year. And he talked about, and this is like my favorite line in this book. Anytime somebody asks me about this Atomic Habits, I always say this. He talks about falling in love with the process and not the outcome. Like, you know what I mean? And that makes a huge difference. When you fall in love with the process, you don't, you're not, you don't really, you're not worried so much about the outcome. And another thing is, speaking about the process there was a part where he kept saying how long will it how many days will it take me this is just an example how many days will it take me to lose weight or tone up or reach any kind of goal like to reach 100k on youtube <laughs> how many days is that going to take and the answer is it's not about the time or the days it's how many reps you put in how often you go to the gym how often you put out youtube videos how often you are eating healthy, what's healthy for you. That's what's gonna determine the outcome. So don't worry about how long, worry about how many, how many reps. And that's just like really how I've been living my life lately. Yeah, how many reps? Remember that y'all, not how long, but how many. How many reps, what, like how, what, what work are you putting in? You know, whether it be like for your well-being, good health, Growing a YouTube channel, growing a brand, toning up, whatever it may be. Put in your reps. Anyways, on that note, I'm going to 
fix my grilled cheese, go with my soup because what's a soup without grilled cheese? Yeah, I want you guys to let me know what has really helped your good health. Um, what are some things that you swear by, your holy grails? Let your girl know because I'm always looking to I'm looking I'm always looking to level up when it comes to my well-being. I love you guys so so much and I hope that you are well right now. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.